A Central Florida nonprofit is doing its part to feed health care workers. About 40 free meals were given to workers at the Brookdale Assisted Living Community as a way to say thank you. New Six's Ezie Castro is in Dr. Phillips with the story. Grilled cheese sandwiches, salads, cookies, all packed in a brown paper bag ready for Tuesday's lunch. The free meals are for the health care workers at the Brookdale Senior Living Facility in Dr. Phillips. This was the idea of one of our generous donors um, from the PAR Foundation. He thought it'd be really great to thank our health care workers. It would be good for small business because we would keep toasted in business. Nancy Luden with the Jewish Pavilion nonprofit organization says their volunteers usually focus on visiting seniors at assisted living communities around Central Florida. But this time they wanted to thank the people working every day to keep those seniors safe. We visit about 70 different buildings and we provide Jewish holidays and ice cream socials and musicals and all kinds of things to make the seniors happy. Luden says the organization has already donated dozens of meals within the last couple of weeks amid of the pandemic. And they are also collecting letters from people all over the country with motivating messages for seniors. And the Jewish Pavilion is known for giving lots of hugs and kisses and fuss over people. And now most of the buildings, the seniors are eating their rooms. They're no longer enjoying the communal aspect of these buildings. She said the task to give free meals hasn't been easy to plan because of the latest CDC guidelines, but says the act of kindness can be done anywhere, no matter the circumstances. We have people, health care workers who are doing so much to help our seniors, and this is a way of saying thanks. And the Jewish Pavilion will take this big toasted food truck tomorrow to another senior facility, this time in Longwood, and they'll be feeding health workers there too. In Dr. Phillips, Ezie Castro, getting results, News 6.